many pedophiles you got? 288. How many kids you found? Sound of Freedom is an action thriller starring Jim Caviezel, Academy Award winner Mina Savino, and other Hollywood stars. The film tells the true story of former government agent Tim Ballard. He quit his job to rescue children around the world from human trafficking. Joining us is the actor who portrays him, Jim Caviezel. Jim, good morning. Good morning. Might be afternoon where you're at, I apologize, but we're glad to have you here. Can you tell us a little bit more about your new film, Sound of Freedom? Um, <clears throat> best film I've done since The Passion of the Christ, bottom line. Wow. It's lightning in a bottle. Homeland Security guy um, that takes down these horrible traffickers by setting up these task force to save these uh, children. And he has an opportunity when he goes down to Calexico, down the border, where we're having horrible problems right now, and takes down one of the worst pedophile traffickers I've ever seen. Rescues this five-year-old boy, and the little boy says, will you rescue, save my sister? And he talks to his wife, sells everything, and then goes off down to Columbia to try to find him. That tells the true story of Tim Ballard. How did you feel when you first read the script? Thought about my own children. Thought about them heavily. I have three adopted children from China, and I became aware of the dangers that uh, children go through globally. Um, and, you know, the film is extremely inspiring, especially when you get messages like God's children are no longer for sale. And when God tells you to do something, you don't hesitate. And that's kind of what Tim has been in his life. Given the times we're at right now and such a serious, important topic, why is this film so important right now? Well, <clears throat> trafficking, I just so you know, as Americans, it's people in St. Louis, over 300,000 children last year under the ages of 18 were lured into the commercial sex trade. The United States is the biggest consumer of child pornography and trafficking in the world. Um, it's a $152 billion a year business, and it's growing even bigger than that. It, it, it's so profoundly hor horrible that if you took all the sports teams in the world, in the United States that make money in all NFL, uh, all sport, professional sports, and also professional World Cup soccer, Real Madrid, Manchester United, you took all those together, still would not come to the level of what, what we have here in the um, trade of, of sexualizing of our children and uh, trafficking. It's just horrible. But the film is inspiring, and we point to it in the film. It's not a documentary. You're going to be inspired when you see this film. It's lightning in a bottle. Um, the content is difficult, but I always tell parents when they ask me, I said, you know, mothers, fathers, you want to be a good parent. And part of being a good parent is protecting your children. This film is a great weapon against that evil. It teaches you what they do. It, you learn where to look, how to look, what, what they do. And so it weaponizes you so that something like that would never, ever happen to you. You mentioned this is lightning in a bottle. This is a weapon for parents to combat this awful, heinous thing that's happening. How did you incorporate these themes into the film without revealing too much? It's a great question. It's kind of like Alfred Hitchcock. Um, for example, the kids in it are amazing. The, the children in this uh, film are absolutely, and that is a great part uh, of Ed, our producer, Eduardo Verostiki and Alejandro Monteverdi, the director. The children never knew, uh, they don't know anything about, the, they're too young to know, because uh, 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 they're not sexualized, all right, these children. They're not in our woke system, okay? So we, they understood that there was good and there was evil and they understood those were the bad guys and, and, and who the good guys are. So, um, but we never, never uh, ruined them as far as in there, because it's just too, too much to even comprehend. Pay it forward, pay it forward. What is that? How does that work with this film? Well, it was a movie I was in a long time ago. Um, the Fo Pay It Forward program is this. Um, we, uh, people that are, 
that have seen this film, that love this film, have uh, put money into this so other people that can't afford to go to a, the, the movie, uh, they are able to go for free. Mm -hmm. And only requirement, I mean, it's on your own honor, but to tell other people to go see the film. So it's the, two, we want to bring in two million children that are being trafficked right now um, at, to sell two million tickets for two million children. Powerful stuff, Jim. Real quick, as we wrap this interview up again, thank you for joining us. When does the film come out? Fourth of July. Perfect timing. Thank you very much, Jim. Can We're giving for the children back their freedom on our Independence Day. Well said, well said. Thank you very much, Jim Caviezel, for joining us this morning. Thank you. We're back with more Power of Two after the break.